Hi, my name is Kara Conan. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist and the clinical director at Grow Through Life Counseling. We have two locations, one's in the East Lake Park of Chula Vista and the other is the Carmel Valley Del Mar area of San Diego. We specialize in treating kids and teens and tonight I'm giving a follow-up talk at East Lake High School PTSA on the five stages of grief and teen depression awareness suicide prevention. Earlier in the year, I was honored to be asked there and we talked about what's normal in teen mental health, signs of depression and suicide prevention. And um, I shared this resource that I created that's available on Amazon called 13 Reasons Why Am I Going to Counseling. Um, the last chapter is dedicated to suicide prevention. Um, sadly, we lost one of those Eastlake High students um, to suicide over the Christmas holiday. So tonight I'm going back to talk about the five stages of grief a little bit more about teen depression awareness and suicide prevention because as a community, the more educated we are, the more people looking out for signs, the more people aware, the more opportunity we have to intervene um, on the whole. So um, I know this community is is heartbroken and trying to heal and I would love to be a part of that. Um, my team is ready for new patients in East Lake as well if we can be helpful. Tonight I'm gonna touch on the five stages of grief. The first one is denial. I don't want to believe this happened. I can't believe it happened. I'm not going to believe it. The second one is usually anger and they can go out of order, but um, I'm so mad this happened. I'm so upset. I can't believe it. Um, quickly followed by um, this isn't right. It's not fair. I'm so angry. The next stage is bargaining. So if only I had done A, then B and C wouldn't have happened. A normal process when you're going through the grieving process, trying to cognitively understand and trying to protect your brain from further hurt. Next is depression, sadness, loss of interest, low mood state, totally a normal part of the grief process. And finally, we get to a more optimistic state, which is acceptance, accepting that the loss occurred and it no longer interrupts negative mood states with your regular functioning. So things can kind of get back to normal, although life isn't the same after a loss of a, a special person or important person there is an acceptance that the loss occurred eventually. It's normal to grieve up to six months. If it goes beyond six months, we do consider that a clinical diagnosis of complicated bereavement, and that's definitely something you should seek help for. If you find yourself unable to get through the stages of grief or you're not feeling like you're progressing, counseling is a great time or great intervention to get started at any point in the grief process or large transition or loss. If we can be helpful to you, um, give me a call, 619-549-0329. You can also go on our website, www.growthroughlifecounseling.com, and fill out the contact form. Those come directly to me, and um, that allows me to reach out to you. And we do have a great team in Eastlake if you're looking for additional support. Thanks.